Hey, this is Robin Williams from TheRealRobinWilliams.com, delivering internet marketing training and mindset training that actually works. In this video, I'm going to be going over blog ideas, right? Blog topics. How do you get more blog topics um, to write about? So, like, you may be experiencing issues where um, you don't, maybe you're new, you're getting started, and you don't... Um, know a lot of things to talk about right when it comes to internet marketing or maybe you you're just experiencing writer's block well in this video i'm going to show you how to get some blog topics pretty quick pretty fast pretty easy and for free and so um, my disclaimer before i start showing you this is that i encourage you if you are trying to build your business uh, using things called search engine optimization, meaning you want people to find your information on Google, YouTube, Yahoo, stuff like that, um, by just simply searching for that type of content. Um, I strongly encourage, encourage you to um, be aware of the type of topics that you are trying to find in for your blog um unless you have a large influence now if you're someone who because i know it's possible have a large influence on the internet marketing spaces and, and blog topic of your um industry already um it may be easy to use a lot of these subjects regardless um as to whether they're uh, searchable content or they make a good searchable piece of content so what i mean is that um if I was brand new in internet marketing, um, I wouldn't shoot a video about uh, my day at the park working from home, right? No one's searching for uh, how to work from the park, right? Um, I would probably go more towards of how to make money from home, which is a, a large and a harder keyword, but simply put i would search for that for my actual um if, if i was looking for that i would search for that something that i'm looking for a uh, large majority of people are looking for anywhere from between like 90 to a couple of thousand people so my easy process of getting blog content um that i'm going to show you i don't really use this that much because i um i want to say um, funny but I don't really have a lot of issues finding content but should I ever run into issues finding content this is a way that you can get it really really quick um, right now I'm on Neil Patel's website if you go to Neil Patel's website um, you'll be able to probably find the uber suggest tool but just in case it's not easy for you you want to either google or just type in here you see uh, ubersuggest.com and so basically what that is going to do is take you to the page um, that I'm on right now. As you can see here, it's a free, as of right now um, on this video, it's a free uh, YouTube keyword research tool um, that he bought from the company. Um, he bought from Uber Suggest. I really like this uh, tool. I use this for keyword research, period. Now, so right here, I had typed in make money online and um, basically that's just one of my um, it's part of my industry and as you can see here is a keywords idea um, button so basically you can go to type in something with your industry so it could be um, how to lose weight using keto now, the more uh, niche down it is, probably the better, especially if you're just starting off. Hopefully, this doesn't take forever. Okay, every sometimes it takes forever for the site to load for me. If it happens to you, just try to refresh and do the search over for whatever reason. I don't know why, but um, here you see a lot of different keywords on how to lose weight using keto. Now, the thing about using the keyword research tool is that some of them are so close that your content will seem very duplicated. Um, should you just try to just go down the line and create content for each of these uh, keywords and then eventually you can see not enough people are searching for it but if you look over to the right you can see it has keyword overview how to lose weight using key um, using keto and um, basically 
what they did, you can read it right here. It says the average web page that ranks in the top 10 has 101 backlinks and a domain score of 75. So these are more than likely going to be blogs, content of those uh, that are within your industry based on what you search here. So if I just try to open it, hopefully I don't open, yeah, I open it in the whole window. Sorry about that. Let's see here. There we go. If I try to open this, I simply already have just one type of site, um, one type of content example that I could use if I was looking for how to lose weight um, using using keto. So basically here, I could literally come up with why, why should I? What are the reasons for using keto or whatever? Why use keto? I can come up with that. You can scroll down on their um, actual piece of content if you want and look at the bulletproof. Not the bulletproof, but the um, the headings, the headlines, and of course, since you're on this uh, blog, as long as the blog is um, pretty much congruent to your niche and not all over the place. So right now, if I was focused on keto, this would not be a very great site for me to browse through unless I found a keto section, right? But um, this is a health website that ranked for. Um, uh, a keto weight loss uh, keyword so this is not really a good example to use as far as just going through their content but the example of what I was trying to give you is that if you found a, a good ranking keyword and that website actually is within your industry you can right there on their website browse through their content to get some ideas now just because you're getting ideas from here does not mean you're actually copying anything from um, you know, word to word or verbatim, that will be uh, plagiarism, right? And then I would encourage you to be um, to be creative with the um, content, um, keywords, and stuff like that. Because uh, I'm not saying you couldn't beat them with ranking this, but um, basically you just don't want the exact same title. So let's look at another one. How so? Root me. I know what this is. Ketogenic diet, how to lose weight, ketogenic diet. Um, so right now, basically, um, they are ranking for this keyword, or they um, basically came up as ranking for that keyword. And uh, I can't tell what kind of website this is. And I don't see any blogs. So basically, this is a, a website that you probably won't be able to search through their blogs. But um look like they have a search. Let's see. See if they have any more content. So here they have content. So if I was in the keto weight loss industry and I want to break down keto even further, right? Because you can do so much with keywords if you really dig down into your niche, see what people want. Um, you know, not only could I be marketing like a keto product or whatever, right if i can start tapping into these actual males keto salisbury steak or keto um uh recipes and stuff like that um keto recipes uh including chicken so uh chicken keto recipes right because it doesn't have to be the exact same thing because it's probably not a lot of people searching exactly for a keto instant pot creamy chicken but you can get ideas and and jog your creativity just by reading through this stuff so keto keto tuna salad with pesto oh you know what shooting a video on keto um uh keto tuna recipes right um i can actually create that and make that a searchable piece of content using blogs right and create a great blog topic and um become searchable or just serve my audience so that is a simple way that you can get um, content <laughs> using um, Uber Suggest. That's my one free um, tool to you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you actually use it and it um, helps benefit you in your business. Uh, should you need any help with your internet marketing, uh, MLM business, uh, definitely click the link at the top of the description of this video so that I can give you more free uh, tips on how to build your business online using internet marketing strategies that work so um i see you on the top this is robin williams peace